All right, welcome to our last video of this chapter. <laughs> the video to help you with your homework. I'm gonna miss you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm gonna miss you. Uh, I'm not really crying though. Oh, I should have my microphone right there so you can hear me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and work on the problems for chapter 26. So let's go ahead and have a look. See again, uh, your multiple choice at the beginning. Let's see how far we went with multiple choice in this chapter. All right, it looks like chapter. Okay, good. So number 11. Howard Company is considering two alternative methods. The payback period is 3.5 years for investment A and four years for investment B. If we use the payback method, which investment is preferred? Well, managers want it sooner than later, so we're going to go with investment A. Will an investment with a shorter payback period always be chosen over an investment with a longer payback period? The answer is no. Maybe with the, the payback period method, but uh, we're going to consider other things. That's what this whole chapter is about. All right, project A requires 310,000 initial investment for new machinery with a five year life and a salvage value of 48,500. Project A is expected to yield annual income of $20,400 per year and a net cash flow of 77,500 per year for the next five years. Compute project A accounting rate of return. All right, so if you'll remember from the book, uh, we're gonna calculate that annual rate of return and uh, if we we're comparing them, whichever is higher is the one we would want to go with. So our accounting rate of return is we're going to take our initial investment plus our salvage value, and then we're going to divide it by our uh, two to get our average um, investment. And then we're going to take that and we're going to divide it by uh, the annual income by our average investment. So let's go ahead and do this two-step process. Uh, we have an inv initial investment of... $310,000, we're gonna add the salvage value. It's gonna be $358,500, we're gonna divide that by two. So our average investment's gonna be $179,250. So then we're gonna take our annual income of 20,400. It's annual income, sorry, 179,250. Okay, so our, our, our uh, internal rate of return should be 11.38. So let's see if I did that right. Okay, so we're gonna take our numerator and our annual income is going to be on top and our um, average investment is gonna be on the bottom. Annual income is 20,400. Our average investment was, I can't remember, crap. 179,250, that's what it was. Okay. Let's see if we did that right. There we go, very good. Okay, accounting rate of return. Net present values for three alternative investment projects are as follows. If the company accepts all positive net present values, which of these projects will accept? Well, duh, this is negative. So we would select A and B. If the company could choose only one project, which would it be? The one that's the highest, project B. You guys thought these questions were going to be hard, didn't you? <laughs> Keep in mind, your numbers are different. Your project could be C. Okay. All right. What is the net present value of this investment? Assuming a required 12% return. Quail company is considering buying a food truck that will yield net cash flows of $13,400 per year for seven years. The truck costs 41000 and has an estimated 6,600 salvage value at the end of the seventh year. Okay, what is the net present value of this investment assuming a required 12% return? Well, uh, we could look up these present value factors. Let's go ahead and do, uh, we have years one through seven, and then we're gonna have uh, year seven salvage. And then here's gonna be um, totals, initial investment here. So our initial investment is gonna be uh, 41,000, okay? Salvage value is gonna be 6,600, and our net cash flows is gonna be 13,400 per year. Now, where's our present value factors? We're gonna need to go to our annual or annuity, and we're gonna need to go to our year seven salvage value. So when we click this uh, button here, I'm gonna click it and have it go to a new, uh, I hope it goes into a new tab. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, let's try this again. All of our numbers are now different. <laughs> Why not, right? 
Uh, I didn't like what I did, I guess. I'm too smart for it. It did say in progress. Let's try it again. Um, salvage value year seven, initial investment here. I mean, half the problem with this is the setup. As long as you can get the setup going, you'll be all right. The cash flow is going to be 43000 Whoa, whoa. That's the truck cost for 11.8. Salvage value is 6,500. Initial investment is, oops. Ah, oh, for the love. Okay, 43,000. There we go. So we need the present value interest factors. We need the annuity and we need the year salvage value. So we may not like that I'm clicking on this. Oh, it's fine. Okay, here's our annuity one. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to take annuity at 12%. So we're going to come over here, and I think it was seven years, so we're going to take 4.5638. 4.5638. 4.5638. Seven-year salvage value, we're going to need to go now to the present value of one. And again, we're going to go to 12% at seven years, and we're looking at 0 0.4523. 0 0.4523. Okay. So now we got 56,793. We're going to take that. We're going to subtract out our initial investment, which should have been put in here as a negative. I'll bet you. And we are going to have a $3,793 positive net present value. Okay. Did I do that wrong? How did I do that wrong? 56,793 calculated it for me. Oh, I, I didn't carry the one. Sorry. That's why you don't do it in your head, guys. Use your calculator. You guys are probably screaming, Brian, it's 13,793, not 3,000. All right. Now, for those of you who are curious, and I'm a little curious myself, let's look and see if our model that we created uh, would work here, okay? Uh, initial invest, I got to just change the initial investment, but I got to see what it was again. 43,000. And our net cash flows here were 11.8. And then what we would do here is we'd break our model because we would just copy and paste this one actually. Actually, hold on a sec. Let's not even do it on this one. Let's go over here and do this. Um, No, I didn't finish that one really. So let's do it here. Uh, we'll break our model. I'm going to copy this though. So here we go. I'm going to break the model that we did. Uh, I'm going to go year seven here also. It's going to give me that. And we had 6,500. So let's see what we've got here. Look at that. Look at that. Love it when a plan comes together. 13,793, it matched. I love it. I love it. I didn't check that one right yet. Yeah. Um, was the internal rate of return on this machine? Okay, this is one where we're going to need to look it up. So our initial investment is going to be 41,827. Um, Divided by our annual net cash flow of 18,319. Our present factor, value factor is 2.2833. We're looking up our present value of an annuity. I already have it open. So we got to find this factor 2.2833. Um, three periods. So we're going to look under the three periods until we find 2.2833. Three periods, 2.2833. 2.2833, right? 
2832. There it is, 15%. Just slightly off. Very good. Okay, that's how we look those up. All right, Project Y requires a $333,000 investment, five year life with no salvage value. And it produces all of these expenses. There's your net income. There's your, there's your revenue. Okay. Compute project wise annual net cash flows. Oh, annual amounts. I'm sorry. I see you're thinking like, how in the heck is anybody supposed to? This is every year it's producing this. Okay, so the cash flow every year um, is going to be three ninety five. I'm going to check this because all right. Okay. Okay, we exclude depreciation. But we're going to include 176,960. Um, this one's kind of getting me. I'm, I'm kind of wondering. I'm going to say we're going to include this, but I could be wrong. No? Okay. Um, that was interesting. That was interesting. I'll basically, I, I think what I was trying to... Uh, emphasize here is we're looking for the net cash flows and that depreciation is a non-cash transaction. So we're going to exclude that. I think it could have been done better. I thought this was a better question when I added it, but uh, either way, you see the, the point is, is when you're doing these um, cash flow analysis and the return rate required rate of returns and things, we're not factoring in depreciation. The non-cash expense we've, we've already accounted for it by the initial investment. So that's, I think, what I was trying to go with on that one. I apologize if that one was a pain in the butt. Uh, we're going to continue here, part two, determine project-wise payback period. Our numerator is going to be our um, initial investment. We're going to divide it by the um, annual net cash flows. Um, 333000 is the initial investment. And we calculated our cash flows on the prior page. Uh, and we got 190,040, 19040. Okay, so 1.75 years. All right, so we're good there. Next, we're gonna calculate the accounting rate of return. I did that on another one. I'll do it here, but if there's any more accounting rate of return assignments, I won't do them uh, just so that you can't, there won't be, there won't be. Uh, we're gonna take our annual income and divide it by our, um, crap, I'm starting to second guess myself, average investment, that's what it was. Annual income is 123,440. And this, uh, let me check that out because this would include depreciation. Yeah, it does do it. That's why it's the accounting rate of return. Um, average investment. So uh, we're going to be taking for our average investment, the initial investment plus salvage value. And it says we have no salvage value. So 333,000. We're going to divide that. Sorry, I was scratching my foot. Got a niche there. At least it wasn't a scorpion sting. I've had one of those on my foot. They stink. Uh, we're going to take our average um our annual income, which is 123,440. Oh, I'm sorry. First, we're going to calculate our average investment. Uh, initial investment was 333. Divide that by two because there is no salvage value. So we have 166,500. Uh, so we're going to go 166,500. Uh, let's check our work and see if we got that right. We're good. Okay. Again, I just took 
uh, initial investment minus our salvage value, which is zero, and divided by two uh, to get our average investment for our annual income because we're only dealing with one year. We're only looking at one year, okay? And then the last one, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see whether or not this has a positive net cash or net present value. Uh, so we're going at 7% for five years. I'm going to bring up my model again because I'm kind of high on that for some reason right now. Um, it's going to go five years at 7%. And then... Um, <laughs> it's redoing it. Yeah, because I broke the model. Let's fix the model now all of a sudden. Boof. Okay, they're gone now. All right. So we have... Um, we calculated again our cash flows um, at the very beginning. So let's go back to problem 16, I think it was. And we got 190,040. Uh, present value of an annuity at 7%. So what we're gonna do, oh, it's 7% at five years. Yeah. So let's go to our model, 7% at five years. Okay, we're gonna add all this up. And I got it down here, 4.1001. We'll say two, 4.1002. Okay, and then we are going to factor in our initial investment with a negative 333. And we should, let's just pull up the calculator on this one. 779202 minus 333000, 446202. 446202 is what I said. Yep. Okay. Before I check my work, I want to go ahead and plug in this over here just because I want to see if I am right. Um, 190040. You now, it doesn't really matter, too, if it carries it down because it's not calculating it because these are what drive the model. Uh, and then we have this minus 333000. 446202, 446202. Oh, this is right, dude. I'm just going to be so excited. Look at that. Oh, my model works. Oh, like I, I had no faith in myself. I'm just kidding. All right. So that's your homework help. And this is really what we're doing. All right. This is what we're focused on. Again, if you want to know how to build this model I was using that just shows you how, uh, you basically just plug in these numbers I did in gray. Um, you can go to watch my snippet video, which will have it there. But ultimately, um, this will make your life a whole lot easier if you do go back and use that model. But uh, anyway, you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help you. Uh, this, this chapter kind of is uh, important for you to be able to do the capital um, project that we're doing for the final project in this course. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll, we'll see you later, man. This is the last video, so take care. See ya.